started over there. All right, hopefully you can see this if I hold it up, looking over my shoulder. Okay, so it's 1926. This is my landline. This is my cell phone. This is now a brick. This used to be a regular phone. 1926, 2018, March 30th, Good Friday, all that. Okay, so now put the phones down. Now, here's now earlier today I shot this video here. I'm just going to bop through it. Let's see here. Well, I won't do that, will it? I have to hit play actually. Okay, so here I'm out here with my everyday carry, and then that one there, and I played it in that video, which is in Facebook. It's not in YouTube yet, maybe, I don't know. So now, let me go back to my pictures. Where's my pictures? I lost here, okay. So here is uh, open with that. Here's the first picture of 91 pictures that I took. So let me, I got the keyboard up here because I have less on my table now. So here is the front of the radio, it's missing the knobs, not really, the knobs are in the bag right there. Okay, so here's that end, and this end has a world voltage down here, a 15 volt in, an AC input, and that's it. And on there's a close-up picture, and then there's the back, and then here's the battery compartment. There it takes 8D batteries. This is a Technosonic by Kanai NTC999, 110 watts PMPO, that stands for Peak Maximum Power Output. Yeah, it only has a consumption of 17 watts, but it has output power of 110 watts. Yeah, okay. World voltage and made in Japan. Okay, moving along, there's a the top view of the picture. There's nothing on this end. There's the bottom, and this does have a little serial number. Yahoo, okay. Another better picture. It takes uh, these screws. It was missing one, which is why the screwdriver is pointing there. It's missing one screw. This is a sheet metal screw, a bad picture, but that's all right. I know, you don't. You're going to learn, maybe. Cracked it open. The front comes off like that. You have to be mindful of this wire right here, which is very short and connects the antenna to the rest of the unit. There's the inside back. There's that picture. And then here's the amplifier picture, which is that thing right there. And then this is just another picture and where it plugs into. It plugs into there. Okay, you unplug that, and you got the front off for the back of the radio. And here's the top part. I took other pictures, but it takes a cannon motor up top and takes a Mabuchi on the bottom, which just happens to be a 500 AB 2, 2B or whatever. Anyway, so there's that. That It's got a piezo tweeter, and then there's the amplifier. It's a, um, it's a LA 4508, which is a... Um, it's either Hitachi or Sanyo uh, 8.5 watt per channel amplifier, okay? So it's eight and a half watts per channel. This is the uh, little sensor deal. This looks like a miniature TV set from the back, but it's not. Okay, and then it just has screws holding up some wire, and that's the little gizmo taken out, and there's that, there's that plug. If you want to tune this radio, you really can't because you have to breadboard the whole thing because the controls are on the front side of this, which is right here. And So if you want to tune this radio, you have to have it all together because of the way it plugs together. But you'll understand if you ever take one apart. Unplug a plug, take a picture. That's what I do. Alright, so there's that, there's that, here's that, there's that, view that, view that, view. Okay, here's an up-close view of how the belts run, okay? I can't remember if this is an old belt or new belt, but it's not the belts that go in here, and I'll show that later. But the belt goes completely around this one here, goes around the black thing here, back down to the motor, okay? And then up underneath all this, you have a little tiny belt right here. There's two belts in this machine, okay? Two belts and a whole bunch of gears. There's gears up here, which are turned by that. And there's gears up here, and gears over here, and gears, all kinds of gears. So it's gear-driven take up spindles, okay? Alright, and then here's another picture, another picture, more pictures. Now here's the, um, I didn't label this yet, but this is the, uh, I'll see here. This is, uh, well that's the belt I took out. And that's the other belt I took out, which are both wrong. I'll get to that later. Alright, so that's the belt, that's more of this. I cleaned the heads after I put it together the first time, but didn't work. We'll get to that in a moment. And I took this apart. And this is very helpful for me to have these pictures because of all the screws and springs and little secret handshakes you got to have to take this all apart. Okay, so 
it's a it's a really fun thing to take apart. This was all full of um, black stuff, but we're not going to go. Okay, here we did under flywheel, which is the under flywheel. Um, that's actually under uh, you're right under the flywheel. That's the uh, I don't know what that belt does. It does something. And then here's uh, the tape counter belt. New. It's about that big. Okay. And then here's a secondary belt new, which is about four inches. And then the um, another picture. And then this one here needs to be three inches or less, like 2.9 or three inches, not three and a quarter. That's the main belt. Okay. And here's the belts go here. One goes on the motor drives the top one, and the secondary is underneath, which drives that. And then there's a third belt up under here, which drives something else wherever else it is. And here's the fourth belt right there. That drives a tape counter, which turns the little uh, thing about bobs to turn the uh, little light things and all that. So here's that. Now, here is the upper, what I finally succeeded with operating the upper deck takes a 15.5 SCX is what I used and a SCX 3.2 okay so it's 3.2 and a 15.5 square belt for the upper deck okay and just showing that's okay that was the 16 inch belt that I had in there before and that's a 15.5 belt that fits perfectly makes everything work if you notice, these gears have got little cracks in them, okay? Don't know why that's there, but they were there, and um, I can only get fast-forward to work. I cannot get rewind to work because that's a feature on the other side of this that evidently is a cracked gear or something. I don't know. But anyway, and there's a three, and then I replaced this with a 3.2. So a 3.2, you got to go under these gears. You can't... Anyway... You figure it out, okay? And this takes a three inch belt. I had an old three inch belt in there to just see if it would work. It didn't, it broke, okay. So I put another belt in there and that's the motor. I just took that picture because this needs a motor. I have it cranked up all the way fast as I go, but it still just it's, doesn't have enough. Anyway, it works, but and this is just a Canon motor here and I think that's it. So now we're back to the Canyon C100F, which I'm, oh, that's a mess. Mine's a mess. His is, anyway. Okay, so that's it. So now let me, let's see here. So now what? How much time have I got on this camera? Seven, eight minutes. That's not bad. You go through 90 pictures in seven minutes. So now what do I want to do? See, I played this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's my everyday carry. And if I get this to it there and then hit play again. Of course, you can't hear anything because the sound's coming through my headphones, which I have to wear here because today's Good Friday and Mom's at church. Okay, so let's just rotate the camera about, all right, and show you. Let's see here, is it wide out? No, I can go the other way. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Great. That's real good. Okay, so I don't have my stereo microphones out, but I just want to show you that it does work really well or at least pretty well I don't know so let's see we hit it turn on power so so there's um, I don't want to sell that music I need to tell you it gets loud. Came together. So that's FM. That's AM. Quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. So, and Dallas Cowboys. Yay! Right. For you. More after traffic and weather. 735. When news happens in North So that gets loud like that. But now we're here to play the radio. So you flick it from tuner. Because you always ever see someone plugging something into here. And I don't care about that. I want to play my tapes. So I've got a I've got a tape up here, Aldo Nova. Okay, so let me just throw that in the upper one here. First, I got to switch it. This is deck B, so put it on deck B and flip in that. <laughs> Of 
course, if you want to play it the other side, just hit that little thing and it just does that and hit this and kick it out. Alright, and I don't want to sell that song. So now we go here to this deck. This one has a little bit of wire and flutter, so I'll switch it back to deck A, which is that one. We'll hit play. <laughs> sell that music but now just let me show you that this thing really does play the Aldo Nova which is this here again some arm flutter maybe because it needs a motor okay, I got it cranked up as fast as I can go but <laughs> and in case you didn't see it these little things do work so there it is it's not very bright in this picture I could zoom in with the thing here let me zoom in so you can see the little woohoo lights. Here, let me just move the camera. All right, here we go. Yeah, move the camera. And you can see those happy little lights. People got to have them lights. Don't know why, but because it's there, it's got to work. So there's that. Oops. See, hit play. Go back to John Cougar and throw it on the flip side. Who knows? Um, again, just a few seconds. Oh, that's the end of that tape. Do I have any more tapes handy? Because I brought most of them out the truck. Uh, that's the test tape. And that's the. I don't have any more tapes out here. They're all in the anyway. Okay, well, here, I got this thing. You can throw this in here, okay. What is this? Test tape? Right, so if I, let's see. Supposedly it's got music search, but the, uh, if you have it in play mode and you hit rewind or fast forward, it's supposed to music search, but that's what it does. Didn't work. Okay, so let me hit play. Maybe I can do it. seen yet or at least not what it's been since 2011 January I think I made a video about this but anyway so now I finally belted it what nine eight nine years ago who cares all right so there it is uh, that's that deck the upper deck is what this one with, the, with what this tape here click it in just hit that and go well, hit fast forward it will flip with the tape over I didn't set all that up but I mean you know how auto reverse works right so just see if I can well okay there it goes it just clicked over to the other side or to the end actually and now it should it's already I can't remember see here this should be the beginning of what hurts so good or yeah Sell the music. Good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. Um, click it over to the radio. 
Radio, one more. Parkerville of Hampton and 227 in Fort Worth. At the Costco, the Hummer Ridge Parkway in North Tarrant Park. Yeah, this is the stereo light. Doesn't come on all the time, but it does come in stereo when you tune it properly. So, that's all I can tell you there. Yes. Use these indicators. So, as part of a Thomas's. Okay, well, I, I'm probably burning up the time on this tape or this video, but how much time is there? 15 minutes. I gotta go. Good day, bye. Hope you enjoyed my re repair of this deck. Bye bye.